Hello, this is Daniel Prey, recording for Module 17, AP 858, taking a look at data analysis and data collections that we might use in a school setting. The first graphic organizer that I used, or graphic that I have on there that I thought would be good to be on a paper, I did not come up with this, but found it, aligned with it, is located in the top right. Ask a question, establish measures, gather evidence, review and refine, evaluate and interpret, create an action plan. I think this is the one that would align most with me. I am very passionate about all of these, and especially review and refine, uh, step number four. I think that's a big one. So if we get into it, what does it look like or what should it look like? My school currently does not do a great job of this. So this is my thoughts on if best case scenario here. First, we're going to collect the data using FastBridge, which is what we just moved into. Very nice, very easy in collecting data. Star Math we had used before. Also, we have some data collection on state assessments. When I think about state assessment data, might use that for the gifted program. I'm going to analyze that data through teams of teachers, start at grade level, which is what we've talked about in this class, move to the school level and getting help from all over, special education teachers included in that. After we take a look and see where kids fall, we can start to set up their intervention groups. Our teams of teachers, right now my ideal would be eight. We have eight teachers ready to go. This is a current situation that we have at my school, so I'm really trying to push for this. Might even be able to use paras aids, definitely aids, maybe even paras within our classroom. Special educators will also help out and take small groups. Those that are on track will be in a larger group, and then they'll get tiered out from there. After our time period, we would reflect, reflect on self, how are we doing as the teachers, reflect on the material, is the material what we want to continue to use for the next round, what else can we find, and reflect on the students, how did they do, did they gain anything, did they fall behind, are we using the right stuff, are they in it with the right teacher. Questions that I thought of as I was kind of looking out there. Uh, where are the students? If I brought them to an MTSS or SIT team meeting, where's the student currently? Where do we want him or her to be at? How do we get him or her there? What's our timeline? And what resources do we need or what resources are we going to use? All great questions to think about when we're setting these kids up for success. Sometimes we start using the things that we already have when really we need to try something else. That's what we're here for in the first place. The next one is the current sheet we have when we bring somebody to SIT or MTSS. Here's what it looks like. Here's our strengths. Always start out there. And before it used to be blank, but we added some stuff just to check, check mark. What are our areas of concern? And then we have another page also attached to this. That looks like this. This would have our thoughts and comments on it as we're starting to fill this out, getting all the information. We'd be putting the data in here also. There's one, a third page connected to this also. What are our, what are our thoughts? What are our ideas? Writing down, talking with, working together, coming up with a plan specific. We have some good things at Westmoreland. We could do some better things. My time now for reflection will be looking through this class. I have some great takeaways from this. I really thought that the last assignment was very beneficial to us, bringing in an MTSS coordinator to talk with us, not just lecture, but really dive in and see where we can go from here. After this first round of data will be a bigger push on my teachers and staff to fall into an MTSS model. I feel like we have looked at the data. I feel like we need to digest some more is another another good one I heard the other day. We get we are getting hit right now with constant professional development, and that's great, but we don't have any time to stop and digest. So it's just on to the next, on to the next, on to the next. We need to take a look and see what this fast bridge data does for us. 
how we can best use it and how we can best use these these um, groups efficiently and find out even what they are. So I think through all of this, we're on the right track. I had some other comments that I added in about how we could get a little bit better. And I think overall, we're thinking about what's best for all students and we still have plenty of room to grow. Thank you and I appreciate you watching.